Okay, so the Canadian House of Commons was rendered into a preschool level of per individual conduct by the opposition, NDPs, and conservatives. Right now, they're currently debating a doctor-assisted death bill. These guys called a stop to the debating, because I'm guessing the opposition here, it was past their nap time, and they were starting to cry and get pissy. And so, this guy, who's called the opposition whip for some reason, was called up to speak here. This guy and the blonde woman behind him, not this one here, but you, you'll see that there's a blonde woman behind this guy, and he is taking cues from the blonde woman watching the whip. And on her cues, he steps forward or back to block this guy. This is kindergarten level tactics here. Look how mature these politicians are. Steps in, blocks them, steps back, blocks them. And yeah, look at that shit eating grin. Yeah, she knows she's pulling something off. Justin Trudeau PM gonna come in and kick some ass. Look at that confident stride, people. And bitch slap! Eh, not really. He guides this guy out and oh physical contact oh I was oh no I've been touched oh no I I need counseling oh dear no I was touched he Mr Trudeau was realizes that he has upset her and he is coming to apologize and she is taking out her smartphone to tweet about how she almost had to use her rape whistle in the House of Commons today because the Prime Minister was too close to her and elbowed her in the tummy. This guy. Mulk hair. Look at him. Look at him. Trudeau is trying to apologize, but Mulcair is so full of hate towards Trudeau. What kind of man elbows a woman? Makes it sound like he came in here and knocked a couple teeth out. And he's going, and look at it. This uh, Trudeau doesn't raise his hands, nothing. Mulcair is pointing. He looks like he's about two seconds away from trying to deck the PM here. Here's two guys reacting how the rest of the fucking house should have reacted. Lol drama. And here is the prophet of the... Hmm, prophet of mercy, I would say. There will be order in this council. Okay, let's listen. He elbowed uh, the member from Earthy And so, Peter Julien, House Leader of the NDP, New Democratic Party. Yeah, I am so ashamed I fucking voted for these guys. And I am so glad he is not the Prime Minister. Look at the hate in his eyes. Any man which has that kind of hate in his heart has no business running a country. Look at him. And of course, this expression is fitting for what the entire party is doing. <laughs> Someone by the name of Julian, there's one less Julian in the NDP. We'll have the video. And Mr. Speaker, he manhandled the whip of the official opposition. 
oh, guiding someone through a crowd of jerks is uh, called manhandling now. Good to know. Physical force in this house is never permitted, is never welcome, and it is entirely inappropriate. I admit I came... House leader of the NDP, I would recommend that you police your party better. So the actions that led up to the physical contact were no longer needed. Uh, in physical contact uh, with uh, uh, a number of members as I extended my arm in, uh, including uh, someone behind me who I did not see. If anyone feels that they were uh, un uh, impacted uh, by my actions, I completely apologize. Uh, I, it's not my intention to hurt anyone. It certainly wasn't. Second apology. They then voted. Ms. Watts. Ms. Watts. But this wasn't over. The prime Peter Van Loon of the Conservative Party. I love his last name. Looks the guy that if you... He looks the part that if you didn't fucking pay him on time, you'd break your damn kneecaps. Minister physically grabbing people. What? Look at this woman. Elbowing people. Not only was this the furthest thing from a feminist act. Feminist act. This is what gives feminists a bad name. A issue that had absolute nothing to do with gender. She brings gender into it. And now both people are going to be scrutinized on it. On terms of gender. Good going, bitch. Furthest thing from a feminist act. When I was coming up, I thought it said Kiki, not Nikki. And I, well, that would understand why she was pissed off. She's named after a dog. Act. Then Brousseau spoke. Ruth Ellen Brousseau. This is the woman, the victim, who is traumatized and has nice highlights. Let me just explain something about this woman. She is a single mother. Six months ago, before the election, she was a bartender, and she ran as a joke. And she honestly didn't think she was going to win, so she went to Vegas. And she was elected into Canadian politics while she was in Vegas. Let that sink in. Her nickname for a while has been Vegas Girl, and it pisses her off to it. And so I say hashtag counseling for Vegas Girl. I was elbowed in the chest by the Prime Minister. Um, so and then sad. I had to leave. It was very overwhelming. Um, and so I, I left the chamber to go and sit into the lobby. I missed the vote because of this. Um, I just wanted to clarify and make sure it's clear to all the members in the House that that did happen. Um, thank you. Her example will go down in history. We need to build a monument to this woman of what female politicians should not be. This woman is setting a remarkable low bar for women in politics. She is needy, she is unable to cope, she is clearly acting the physical weakness, she is victim-mongering, making herself the victim, making other people have to stand up and be the white knight and save her. And because she's not strong enough to do it herself. Right out of our Prime Minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Third uh, I want to apology. Uh, take the opportunity uh, now that the uh, member uh, has uh, is uh, is okay to return to the House right now uh, to be able to express directly to her uh, my apologies uh, for my behaviour and my actions unreservedly. Some aren't satisfied. I will move that the matter of the physical molestation of the member for Birchie and Maskinage be molestation. The M word. 
Yes. So this has now been thoroughly turned from maybe the Prime Minister being a little bit impatient about some people being jerks in the middle of the friggin' aisle to molestation. I refer to the Standing Committee on Procedure and House Affairs. Though a few offered explanations. I, say that I saw the Prime Minister approaching and following the Honourable Member, trying to reach her and saying how very sorry he was. He had not seen her behind him. That is the truth. This is what a woman in Parliament should be. She is calm and all she did is say what she saw. This is is how this is the only adult in the room as far as I'm concerned so three apologies and the opposition still hasn't dropped it what do they want they, they want to bring his name through the mud that's what they want to do because they're sad they didn't win sore losers is what they are But if you guys want to kick, read the comments. Wow. My mother and I spent about an hour giggling. Uh, I'm not going to read any right now because my, I'm losing my voice because I've been talking about this for so long. But I wanted to get this out here tonight. So, um, so let me know what you think. This is just wow. Yeah. This is Indigo Jewel signing off. And uh, I feel... I kind of embarrassed right now.